hope you guys are having a good time out there. Um, I was just driving along and I thought to myself, how do you drive a Defender? It's not just something you take for granted, right? I'll tell you how to drive a Defender. Floor it, man. Drive it like you stole it. Redline it, drop the clutch, slam those gears, burn some tires, try and get the back end out on a fast corner. All right, okay, cool. I'll tell you how you really drive it. Slow is steady, steady is smooth. No. Slow is, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I don't know where I heard that. It might be from a movie or something, or army training. So this one's for you guys out there who are new to the game. Not the guys out there who've driven their landy for the last half a million kilometers, because you guys know better than I do what you're doing. Everything happens slowly and deliberately. Bit of slow moving traffic, which is unusual for a Defender. You don't really do many overtaking maneuvers. Right here we go. There we go. Thank you. So what you need to do is use the gear, uh, gear shift very smoothly. Uh, this is a bit of a clunky gearbox. So you try and keep your momentum wherever you are. You don't like stop, start, and uh, uh, accelerate and brake too much. If you can, you kind of anticipate a lot more ahead. Uh, a lot of that has to do with keeping you in your, the gear you've selected, because changing gear is a bit of a, well, it's a bit of an occasion. You play a lot with your left and your right foot together. Uh, you flip the throttle on every change with the, uh, uh, the older models. That's to protect the, the transfer case because there's a lot of play. You don't want that clunk happening. On the newer models, on the Pumas, the engine is electronically um, well kept at a certain rev uh, range, which makes it a lot more interesting changing gear. Uh, what you basically do then is dip the clutch and wait a second longer than you normally would. And then everything comes out nicely. And the whole idea behind it is obviously making progress in a sedate way, but enjoyable way. It's all very mechanical, which is probably the best part of a Defender. What you Puma drivers may not know is just how often we use low range when pulling off on a hill in an older model uh, Land Rover Defender. We just don't have the torque, and what you end up doing is revving the engine far too much and riding the clutch, which is what you don't really want. You don't have hill start assist, which most new cars have where the handbrake uh, comes on automatically and it goes off automatically for you. You have to do that with your feet and you kind of learn to coordinate your clutch pedal pretty well just at the grab point and you can uh, pull off from there. You don't roll back ever and this is a, obviously a technique you learn from the start when you do off-roading <coughs> because you need to park your van on a specific rock or a pebble and pull off from there without rolling back, otherwise you know I just roll down the hill. So that's also very handy, you kind of get the clutch control very well down. The other side is feeding in the power gently, you don't just floor it wherever you are, you bring up the rev slowly whichever gear you're in. So you're kind of looking forward, keeping your progress, you're not braking too much, because the brakes are really bad man, let's be honest. I'm talking about the older models here, Cornering is not the best thing, especially when you've got a roof tent on the roof. So you drive it like a 911, which means slow in, fast out. Steering is all over the place, as you guys know. I mean, you can do what you like and it keeps going in a straight line. You never park on a hill without putting it in gear. Satisfaction from each gear change. So basically, you're looking ahead far more than you normally would in another car. Thanks Land Rover. Thanks for keeping us involved. Thanks for letting us be part of getting to our destination. And that's the whole idea behind a Defender. There is no rush to get anywhere. You are just going to be taking your time and enjoying yourself. So guys, let me know what you guys do when you drive in your van. This works for me. Uh, it keeps uh, the transmission in one piece. The engine never gets revved to the red line, uh, get in with the mentality that I'm just going to enjoy the drive, there's no rush getting anywhere, 
and you'll be surprised how you get to the other side and you're quite refreshed and you've had a good time. So I hope you've been entertained a little, I hope you've learned something. Leave a comment down below and uh, keep rolling. <laughs>